The winds were so strong at home that I think I would just bail on the run and go inside and run on the assault runner. But where are we now? Copa World Track. Doing the last um, running session here. And then it's basically just go home and pack and fly away. <laughs> running next I, I might have the same pace as you, Bakey. Yeah. Cool. Uh, what's up, dog? Is that you? Are you going to trot around? Are you going to... I, I'd be on right on oh, your tail. Oh, this is fantastic. I'd be on your with a little whip. Fuck yeah. Is it privileged? Yeah. All right, dangle the donut at the back there. I like the drama. Yeah, we are doing the final run workout in Iceland before we head out to States. Khan is a little bit excited I'm very because BK excited. is going to be running with him, so we can unleash the beast. Your thoughts on running? I don't want to talk to anyone on running either. So sorry. <laughs> It's the worst day of the week. Right, Lars? What? Exactly. I like running. I mean, it's nice to be outside, breathing in the fresh air, just to be able to run and not worry about anything else. How is summer in Iceland for the people watching? This is the sun in Iceland. It is cold every single Tuesday. I feel like I have snot running down my face. The wind is just blowing. It hurts my throat. It is not fun to run in the cold. Annie's like, I'd much rather do this in the heat, but I'm like, no, I'd rather be in the hot. I mean, what can you get to do here? Do you think it's upside down? I think it's not a matter of opinion. <laughs> I just don't like having this on the bottom. But I don't like having that on the bottom. I feel like you're being really judgmental right now. I'm trying to help you, my guy. You're on camera and you got upside down words like, how's she trying to do I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to wear this the whole time though. I just don't want to get pneumonia again. I'm doing it for you guys. I decided to catch dry pneumonia and I've been semi-sick for three weeks now. How does that go with games prep? <laughs> Pretty hard. Also here, really hard. While I had pneumonia, I ran 5K twice outside and then I realized I wasn't very smart. So I took a week of doing hardly anything. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> the old lungs. So good. Yeah. So good. Yeah. Good job. Uh, look at this. This is gross. Hard work right there. Yuck. So today's massive. Today it's weird, man. So it's our last session here, the last full day here in Iceland. I just can't believe how fast time's gone. And arriving in January was a bit of a culture shock. I tell you that much for free. Like snow, freezing cold weather, scraping ice off the front of the car to be able to come to the gym in the morning. What's something you're you're gonna miss about Iceland? Uh, this group kind of have little moments where I'm like, fuck, we're just gonna finish the games. And then it's gonna be like, oh, uh, cool. Just kind of see each other around, huh? Everyone's kind of like, there's been small conversations around next season and what everyone wants to do, but it's hard. Like you don't want to take the focus away from what we have to do now and the job uh, at hand, which is the games. With that being such an unknown, it's kind of like a cool, we'll like finish and you know, go have dinner, hopefully be celebrating something and uh, see you guys, have, enjoy. Enjoy getting married, Lauren. Enjoy fixing your house, Annie. Enjoy being home, Tola. Like, yeah, that's it, it's weird to me and I'll miss that. What's the one the thing you won't miss? The weather. I mean, the barbell was still good, you kept it. There's some fatigue in the system. Oh, yeah. There's all girls laid last month. They huh. feel a uh, frauper. No. No, frauper. Framus garandi. Yeah. Björgen told me uh, he has rarely been in 
such a high load uh, before the games? Well, I'm probably comparing last year to this year. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So like last year, we were dealing with some injuries throughout the season. Yeah. That just caused us to have to load the system a little bit differently and back off a little bit m more in training. But this year, we've been able to just train, you know, much more consistently, apart from a little COVID here and there. Especially over the last few weeks, I feel. Yeah, like. there's been a lot of volume in the last few weeks. Yeah. In anticipation of going to US, they're gonna have a couple of days off, so you know there needs to be something in the system to recover <laughs> from. <laughs> How far away are the games and what goals do we have coming into them? How far are we? It's 12th of July, so we got a couple of weeks. 4th of August is the start time. What are the goals? Well, you know, it's like the pinky and the brain. What's the goal every time? You know, it's to be on top of that podium, right? It's humid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, games just posted the picture. Just posted this picture, and they said teams get ready to ride. I just think that since the teams are gonna go on bikes, I think they will definitely use the opportunity and put the individuals as well on the bike, which is nice. I fuck it. I love mountain biking. I hope it's a full suspension once, and it wouldn't hurt if there were e-bikes as well. Næstu svo bara spjallu þessi. Er það grínast við? En þú veist pottið við líka. Já, pottið. Ok, we need to get on mountain. I didn't expect anything for... Á, akkur fór ég á ennsku. Á því að hann er að taka? Já, það taka. Já. Because we're going team, I didn't expect to do any biking, so I haven't touched the normal bike this year. No. But I'm still ready for it. My own freedom, and we thank you. That's funny. The stairs? Please don't do it. No, I don't. I don't got a job. Don't do the stairs either. I don't know. What the hell, babe? How do you do them skids? See? All these cunts that know how to ride bikes. But you know what would happen, Snowy? If we put them on a surfboard, <laughs> six foot waves, it'll shit themselves. Just like I'm shitting myself about this bike. Them good old jet skis. <laughs> Sound like this. Yeah, this one is broken. I think uh, Rasmus broke it. The skis? No way. Bring the skis. <laughs> Put that it's not gonna work. Post it. I know I'm being negative, but there's no way it's gonna work. Can we get it on camera as well that I'm driving the jet ski, but I'm only being told what to do. I'm being informed. He has consented to be told. Okay, Yami is not here. <laughs> I'll be so impressed with this work. How many days until the games? What day is it? Today. Wednesday. Ah, full week. Yeah, I just want to do Yahoo! Yeah. Gotta have fun, man. Gotta have fun. We're more skiing, no, no, no. Jo Oh, you missed all the fun. 
What a shame. Here we go. Fast on the straight. Frederick, what's going on here? Uh, we have uh, four idiots on bikes. That's what. Well, two, two, uh, four, four people, two idiots, two that have been on a bike before. Um, and we're gonna get them, uh, get them racing a little bit. Uh, Khan has never been on a bike before. He's been on a kick bike. <laughs> this is all about getting them comfortable. Um, we know they have the fitness to be able to push through this. But if you're not confident on the bike, you're gonna be very, very tense all the way throughout, uh, and that's gonna cost you a lot metabolically. So. Uh, this is uh, this is a bit of a, a wrench in the wheel. Uh, to be honest, we know that Mayhem have uh, have practiced this quite a bit, so uh, this will need to improve significantly over the next couple of days, unless we uh, we're gonna have to eat uh, a little placing on this. But uh, I'm confident that with all the experience we have on the team, that we can teach them a lot in the next coming days. And notice how PK will do it now. If you just go for it. three, two, one, go. You can go fast. Try to uh, play around with locking out the rear brake just to slide. I don't like you there. That's hard. That's seriously hard. But uh, You're gonna come out through the sand. it's fun. Stand by, go! Yeah, they promised me that you wear it. Yeah? Yeah. Dude. I think like in Iceland, you'll be a king. <laughs> <laughs> I barely recognize you. What? I barely recognize you. I barely. Uh, a company on it reached out to me on Instagram and said, do you want a bear coat? And I thought there's nothing more in this world that I want than a bear coat. So I said, yes, now I have a bear coat. Love and thunder. Yeah, and then I'll change it. Um, that, that's okay, Lauren, that's okay. So, the, do you have the question to Yes. I don't know if this should be in the episode because I know Icelandic. They're talking Icelandic and anyone's Catherine to come. Put her on the roster for the CrossFit Games because Lauren is a little uh, injured in the lats. I don't want to say anything more. If anything needs to needs to change, we'll set it up just in a cluster so we can make the adjustment that we need to make. So Lauren had a small accident with her or felt a tweak in training just over a week ago. She struggled with doing pull-ups still yesterday. So we didn't know if we would have to oh my mom. So we didn't know if she's going to be ready for the games. We obviously don't want to have to withdraw. And it's just insane that Kat is actually on our roster and has been from the open. This Lauren felt something on the first workout in her elbow, so we like didn't want to push it. So Kat went on the roster and then our alternate broke her elbow. So we put Kat as an alternate, just like she's the only other girl that was there. And then this happened, like I don't know how all of this so that Kat can actually be an alternate on our team. But we've never done any team training with Kat. Kat has never touched the worm, so we figured we're gonna make the decision on Sunday. But we figured we have to at least get Kat here and practice a little bit in case Lauren won't be able to compete. Hey, Mama. Eva hey, Should we go home? <laughs> I need something to say. I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do partner deadlifts? Which means you get out all the way, load the bar, and then put them all away, right, Annie? Good talk. Well, so in Australia, everyone has a nickname. Well, there's the Great and Mighty King Beaks, or Beeksy for short. I think I like the Great and Mighty King Beaks because I think he deserves the title of that grand job, but Beeksy for short as well. Björg van Karl, long name, definitely got to shorten it down. Even BKG, there's three syllables there, but Beeksy, 
two. Nice and simple, rolls off the tongue. And then the beak, come on the beak. So if he's going hard, you want something that you can be even, come on BKG, that's too much, too hard to get out, but arm oh, beaks, like that's good. That gets him fired up and that'll get him going much easier. Then you got Yami Pajami, that just kind of, I mean, makes sense, it rhymes. It's, we've actually lengthened his name to call him that, but what we'll actually shorten that down to is old pajami. Old pajami. So he's got that kind of seniority about him. And with that seniority means that something, you know, you think pajamas, you think relaxing on the couch and just being kind of in his element in that kind of environment, which I think suits him really well. And everyone loves a rhyme. Oh, Finn Diesel's another great one. I mean, look at the fella. He could be Vin Diesel's long lost Finnish twin. Finn De yeah, Finn Diesel. Then you got Losberger. Lauren in Australia. I don't think I know any Laurens. Every Lauren I know in Australia gets shortened to Loz. And then there's a couple of Laurens that just turned up to our gym and they became Losberger. I don't even know where that came from. Losberger, a lot of syllables in there. That's a little bit too hard to say all the time. So LB. So she just became LB. Uh, Tola's just Tola or T sometimes as well. Annie... Ha, huh. and he's a, tr a tricky one. I've tried a few different nicknames with her and she didn't like them. Typically in Australia, if you don't like your nickname, it's gonna stick. But Annie was, yeah, she wasn't having a bar of it and uh, we weren't in Australia, so respect the culture and Annie is, is, is Annie or, or the Queen. What are your nicknames? It's KP. Beggs calls me Cape sometimes. I like that. That or fuckwit, really. <laughs>